What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model the famous Zaha Hadid's Galaxy Soho building or building complex, however you would like to call it. It's this cool, cool, cool building complex that looks like a bunch of space eggs connected connected but anyway before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and if you want to download this project file check out my patreon first link in the description okay so let's get started I'm here in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project so let's just wait a second for it to start now to create something like this, first we need to set some uh, levels. So for that, let's go to South Elevation and first let's set these levels up. Now I'm not going to be using perfect scale, but let's just add a few more levels. So just type in LL for a level and then let's add a few more. Maybe something like that. And let's change the units to meters just to kind of make it a bit easier to work with uh, a large element like this but yeah it's not going to be in perfect scale I'm just going to use uh, these levels as is even though the building is uh, much larger I don't really have the correct uh, building measurements so I'm just going to be showing you how to go, how to go about uh, getting that uh, legendary shape okay so let's get into it so you need to go here to the massing and site tab you need to turn on show mass and then let's just go in place mass mass one that's okay and now once we're here we can go into level one and let's go with the circle tool and make sure you check draw on work plane and let's go with level one and let's try something like I don't know like seven meters or so then go into 3d and just check what that looks like okay so I think this looks all right maybe we can go with eight meters now I'm just going to go here and go to copy then go to paste, align to selected levels, and I'm just going to paste it to level 2 and level 4. Hit OK. Okay, so now for the level 4, I'm going to make it a lot smaller, so something like 4 meters, and for this level 2, let's uh, make it a bit larger, so let's make it 9. Yeah, okay, so now I'm just going to go here to copy, paste, align to selected levels, and paste this to level 3. Okay, this looks all right, and now as, we, as you can see over here, when I start creating the shape, it's going to get that kind of an egg-like shape. So what you can do now is just select all of these and go create mass, and you get something that looks like that. And once we have this shape, you can select it, go into perhaps your site plan, and then you can copy it around. Now, uh, the actual building has a lot more of these shapes, but for now, I'm just going to go with a few. So let's do two or maybe three. Yeah. Let's do it like this, perhaps. Okay, so once we have something like this, let's go into level two, perhaps. In here, once we're in level two, we can see where this is cutting through our uh, through these egg shapes, and then we can go in with uh, just a circle. But as you can see, it's hard to find the center. But just kind of hover around till you find it, and then extend this to something like that. Then do the same thing over here extend it to something like that and then go with arcs and you go from this one to this one okay kinda like that and you just give it a bit of an arc shape and then you do the same thing on the other side like that give it a bit of an arc shape and now if we go into 3D we need to find those circles and uh, just use SL for split tool and split it here and here and then trim and extend to trim this to this, this to this, this to that and this to this. Okay, so we've got that shape and you can just select it and go create form. And it's just going to give you a large extrusion but you just need to bring it down to something uh, more manageable like that. Okay, so let's say that works. Now let's try selecting this and can we copy it to the other side? Yeah, let's try that. Let's go into level two and go here to copy uh, or rotate. Yeah, and make sure to check copy, place center of rotation here in the middle 
and then go from this center to this center. Yeah, there we go. And now we can select the whole shape. Maybe select the upper part, make it a bit larger, and then the lower part. Okay, extend it like that. Yeah, so you can play around like that and get those connections between buildings uh, just like that. And then you can go here to finish mass. And this is what we're left with. Now we need to add additional floors. Of course, I'm doing this uh, in much smaller scale because I don't know the actual numbers, but that doesn't matter right now. Let's just go here to south elevation and just add a few floors in between just to make it look more interesting. Maybe add one here. Just add a few on those bridges between these buildings. So kind of like that just to add all of those uh, all of those interesting levels that the building has and let's add a few more maybe extend this a bit like that now in this case I'm just trying to make it look nice but usually you would go about it in a way that it actually works with the project. I'm just showing you how to find the, the particular shape of the building and how to get that effect in Revit. So let's add a few more over here. I'm just using the create similar tool to uh, create these additional levels. So you just select one level, go to CS for create similar, and then you can create uh, more of them. And let's a few more over here. Okay, let's say this is enough levels. Okay, I know this looks a bit crowded, but never mind. Let's select this, go mass floors, go from level one to level ooh, 18. Check everything, go okay. Okay, we have a problem and I'm just going to show you how to fix it. So the reason for that is these elements aren't joined. Now, if I select this mass, uh, go into edit in place. As you can see, I've joined these two, so uh, I just want to join and just join the, these three elements, but this I cannot join. If I go to join, it kinda messes up and deletes everything. So let's go back and let's select the bottom face of this thing and bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so now if I go here to join geometry, select this and select then this, as you can see, it works. So uh, it just the thing is that the circle inside of this for this kind of weird shape needs to be smaller than the actual outside diameter. So if I go now to finish mass, wait for a second. Yeah, there we go. And now we've got the floors in between. So now let's just add floors to get that iconic shape. So just go floor and yeah, let's edit it and just make it a lot smaller because we're uh, in under scale here. So let's do something like one. Okay, and then let's add all of those, create floor, wait for a second, and there we go. So now if we turn on shadows, that's what it's going to be looking like. Now, of course, this is just a basic approach to something like this. You would prop of course need to work a lot more, but that's basically how you get to that uh, Galaxy uh, Soho Zaha Hadid building shape, and that's how you add all of the floors. So that's how you go about it, uh, modeling something like that in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, massing tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to download this project file, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in another, in another tutorial tomorrow.